Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Warzone video. I hope you are having a good day. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about one of the best SMGs in Warzone, Season 4 post-update. After all the updates and the weapon balancing, the dust has pretty much settled. I've been testing out the SMGs on the dance to see which one is the best. And I think the Modern Warfare MP5 is a really good option at the moment for the close range meta. Pretty much before the update, the Cold War MP5 and the Milano was the top tier SMGs. However, with the recent updates, the scenario kind of looks like this at the moment. I think this gun is an absolute beast at close range and it's super easy to use. I'll explain this later. The SMG meta is pretty open at the moment, but this is definitely one of my favorites right now. I did recently make an SMG video. However, I have updated my setup after some further testing. So I thought it'd be a good idea to give you guys an update and go a bit more in depth as to why I use the Modern Warfare MP5. Saying that today, we are going to look at some stats to see why the Modern Warfare MP5 is so good. We are going to go over what each key attachment does just to take out the guesswork. And of course, I'm going to share what the best setup for the MP5 is in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. One of the main reasons why I use the Mod Warfare MP5 is the TTK at close range. The time to kill on this gun under 10 meters is really fast. If you get one headshot at close range, the TTK is 451 milliseconds. Out of the SMGs, you're only really losing to the AS Val, which only has 30 mags anyway. If you don't include headshots, it's still very competitive with the TTK at close range at 526 milliseconds. I think the drawback with this gun though is the range. As you can see, at long range, it's not as effective as other SMGs like the MAC-10 or the the MP7. However, at close range, this gun is super powerful and I think this is where the MP5 really shines, especially with that crazy hipfire accuracy. In the next section, I'm just going to go over the attachments and the best setup for the Modern Warfare MP5. For the barrel, you want to select the Monolithic Integral Suppressor. This gives you 12% range plus 25% bullet velocity. This attachment does hurt the ADS speeds a little bit, but we'll counter this later. For the under barrel, you want to go with the Merc 4 grip. This will help you with vertical recoil and that hip fire spread. This does affect ADS speed and a little bit of movement speed. However, the trade off is you get better hip fire accuracy and better vertical recoil control, which I think it's worth it. For the laser slot, go with the 5 milliwatt laser. It reduces the sprint to fire and the attack sprint to fire speeds, which is super useful when you're fighting at close range and you use a lot of movement. And the big plus here, the hip fire area is reduced by 6%, which is huge. The only drawback is the laser being visible to the enemy. Bear in mind, if you aim down sight, the laser will not be visible. So if you're holding corners or you need to be a bit stealthy, remember to aim down sight to get rid of that laser. For the ammo slot, pretty much mandatory. Go with the 45 round mag. For the last attachment, I recommend using the FTAC collapsible stock. This attachment will help you with the ADS speed by 29 milliseconds, which is super important. You get some decent movement speeds as well. That plus 10% ADS movement speed really helps. And yeah, I actually didn't know this before making this video, but the FTAC helps you with the hip fire area as well. So that's a bit of a bonus. Side note, if you're finding it a bit hard to control the recoil, you can change it up. You can use a stipple grip tape instead of the FTAC. There's no recoil penalty and you get faster ADS speeds as well. Or if you want, you can get faster reload. You can go with the perk slider hand. I also notice sometimes people use the monolithic suppressor instead of the integral one. Use the monolithic suppressor, your ADS will be four milliseconds faster. After using both attachments, I rather just use the monolithic integral suppressor as it will give you more range and extra bullet velocity, which always helps. I just make sure my ADS is improved by one of my other attachments. For example, like the FTAC stock. So yeah, this is my setup for the MP5. At close range, this thing pretty much melts anything and has one of the fastest times to kills in the game. You also want to be using the hip fire as much as possible. The hip fire accuracy just gives you a huge advantage, especially in those close range fights. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you learned something new or you found this video helpful, if you could tap that like button, that would be much appreciated. Remember to sub to the YouTube channel for more Warzone videos. As always, I wish you guys all the best and good luck on the Warzone.